This game is a work of fiction. There may be contests of graphic depth, blood, gore, violence, body horror, disturbing imagery and audio, eye strain and flashing, shaking images. Viewer's discretion is advised. You walk inside the lobby. It's busy. There's a receptionist desk, but they're on the phone. They shoot you away before you can ask anything. It's a normal amount of people to be here. It's not a weekend, but it still feels crowded. They all seem to know where they're going. You're a soon-to-be employee here. You have somewhere to be, too. It's easy to get lost here. Your interview is not on the first floor. You know that, at least. Also, welcome in to Elevator Hitch, um, a game where you and a friend get stuck in a totally normal elevator in the 70s. The elevator doesn't have anyone inside when it opens for you. Press Z to enter. Sure. I'll you step inside and click the button for the hold the door. That's a foot. Uh, as I was saying, you step. Traffic was awful today, am I right? Taxi barely made it on time. Not like the boss will take that excuse again. I'm kind of trying to open the scene. Top floor? I'm actually good. You too? What a coincidence. Oh, God. You, why do you have to be hot, too? The only thing I've seen you around before. Who are you? One, introduce yourself. I'm the new guy. Who are you? Uh, huh. Oh, I gotta hit one, two, or three. Uh, I guess I'll introduce myself. My name's... The name's Chase Beckley. Make sure you remember it. Nothing more annoying than someone who won't take the time to learn your name, right? Right. One, I'm the new guy. Two, who are you? Three, whatever I say doesn't matter to you, doesn't it? No nah, one. I'm the new guy. I'm here. Oh, so you're the new new. I get you. Yeah, I've been here for ages. You won't have to worry as long as I'm here. Who are you? Whatever I say doesn't matter to you, doesn't it? One. The name's Bryce Stryker. But you can just call me Bryce Stryker. Full-time employee of the month. Mountaineer of the corporate ladder. Company expert. Each, none of that was specific enough to signify anything. And part-time stock trader. There it is. Whatever I say doesn't matter to you, does it? No, sorry. I didn't catch all that. Ooh, whatever who says doesn't matter to me. Never mind. Duh. All right. Is this the part where the elevator turns out not to be too normal? Is it? Wait. What? That doesn't usually happen, right? Why are you asking me? You think I know every office-related problem? Uh, I would have guessed. Is the elevator stuck? Are the buttons still... One. This button doesn't seem to work. Uh, okay. Two. Where are we? What in the world? This isn't floor I need to get to. But there may be something we can use to safely get out of this floor. We should check this floor for anything useful. Good idea! I was just about to say the same thing! So, do you want me to step out and check it out? Wait, you want me to go? Yeah, I'm more of an ideas man. Sorry, pal. But what's my idea? Maybe you can head out while I send guard in here. Make sure nothing bad happens while you're doing the easy work. But what if it's dangerous? I'm sure you'll think of something. You're the ideas man after all. Uh, one, I'll head out to see if it's safe. Two, let's throw one of your shoes to make sure it's safe. Uh, I guess I'll... I don't know, I'll venture forward. See, that's the spirit. Make sure not to be too long. I might just die of boredom in here on my own. Will do. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> Something about this room feels awful. Like chewing on wads of cotton. Tell me about it. Who would pair a heart of palm while painting with beach dune carpeting? I'd argue there's more upsetting parts, but he's not wrong about the color choices either. Alright. A sticky note stuck to the wall. Give it something alive. It seems stuck to the floor. A hole in the wall. Put something in it. Nah, can I put... Can I put myself in it? Y yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's nothing I can do. Uh. Weird. I don't see anything. Huh? Ending two. Oh! <laughs> okay. You think I know every office-related problem? What the frick was that? 
Huh? The thing! Did you not- What do you mean? Are you really that scared by the lights flickering? No, it's- Eesh, newbies just get sadder every year. What do you need? Me to hold your hand or something? No, it's just... Ah, sorry, I must be seeing things. Two, why don't you believe me? Exactly, that's the spirit. He's being way too optimistic about that. Alright, I guess uh, we'll go to another floor. A call help button. Try calling for help? Yeah, why not? Hello, is there anyone there? Hello, this is Manuel speaking, the building maintenance and safety head. What can I help you with? Oh, thank god. Yeah, we're stuck in one of the elevators. Can you help us get the doors open? Um... Are you still- What can I help you with? We're stuck in a- Yes, I can tell him help with that. Our safety team is on its way. Make sure not to stand too close to the walls. If someone is injured, do not look at them. And finally, don't press X and we'll be there to assist you within the next 30 sec- I'm gonna press X! Thank you so much. Thank you for calling the building maintenance and safety head. Goodbye. Wait, what? What do you say at the end there? The call clicks off. What happens if I hit X? Actually, this is taking forever. I don't think they're coming. Uh, let's just do that again. So, what's the I love you in the script? It sounded like everything it was saying was scripted before that bit. You heard that too? I couldn't tell either. Okay, I'm glad I wasn't the only one. Just seemed really out of left field. Help has arrived! The elevator door finally opens! Hi! Sorry about that! Thank you so much for coming so quick! It took you guys look. Why did you look? Ending 10. Help. You think I know every office related really problem? I think I just died. Yeah, oh, did you? I must have been looking away. Do you not remember? Do you not care? Oh no, that couldn't have been it. My memory's great. Maybe you suffer some brain damage. Never mind, forget I said anything. Alright, uh, what's with the lobby? A keyhole with the word lobby written above it. I guess I need to find a key for that. Let's go to floor number three then. See what's up with this elevator. Oh my god, what? What's up there? The elevator feels weirdly humid. What's out there? It looks like darkness. My glasses start fogging up when I look too close. Why can't I see anything? I think we're inside a mouth. That's a mouth. Let's not. Let's not. Where are we this time? Oh? What? It's not opening. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. For all we know, the answer's probably right beneath our noses. You mean under? That's what I said! Well, let's just go up to number five and see where this takes us, I guess. Alright. Oh! Huh, my mouth tastes funny. Nuclear fuel chamber? What? Um... Okay. You feel like you'll melt just by looking at the pool. Your nose starts bleeding. The back of your throat tastes like tinfoil. Yeah, let's not go here. Uh, six. Yeah, that, that was just nuclear waste. Alright. This looks cozy. Huh. Are all the cubicles this small? I wouldn't know. I had an impressive enough first interview to get an office to myself. Would you happen to be related to any of the CEOs? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Alright. An office phone. Dial a number. No, I don't have any numbers. Uh... Going through someone else's drawers is pretty rude. Open drawers? Yeah, why not? You found a job application questionnaire. Uh, okay, what's the strongest attribute of a great employee? Ambition, morality, functional left kidney? <laughs> what? What's the second stage of grief, anger, conf bargaining, confusion, depression? How long do spent nuclear fuel rods remain radioactive? I don't even know. For something? Um... A fourteen one B two three C. I fill out the questionnaire. Um, I I don't know. No, I I don't know what to do with that. Was it a computer? A prop computer? Doesn't seem to work. 
In fact, it seems to be made of cardboard. It seems stuck to the floor. Uh, well, I can't look at any of these notes. What's over here? A messy cigarette tray uh, covered in ash with burnt cigarettes scattered around it. Pick up a burnt cigarette? Yeah, uh, I could use that. You got a burnt cigarette? Okay. Maybe that's something organic. I'm not sure. All right. Wait. Uh, I'm already on the sixth floor. I'm going up to the seventh floor. Let's see what's up there. Huh. Um, that's a meat locker. Ah, smells like roadkill in here. Something's definitely rotting. Well, uh, your coworker casually rests a hand against the wall while waiting for- You're resting your hand on the meat wall, my dude! Ah, it's disgusting in here. Can we hurry it up? Uh, his hand is now covered with blood. Seems there's blood coating everything in here. I'm gonna go back to keep the lookout. You've been a real help. Good luck, buddy. He's wiping his hands on my suit. Okay. An animal carcass that looks identical to the body next to it. There are cutting lines drawn around it. An animal carcass looks identical to the body next to it. There are cutting lines drawn around it. Okay. What about the meat? What about the glass? Nothing to say here. What about the hooks? Sharp looking hooks are dangling down from the ceiling. Uh, I am not prepared for any of this. Like, no. Have I mentioned how much I sucked at escape rooms? Ah! Is that? Ah, why do I look like that? I mean, that looks like, it kind of looks like we just had a great time. What? Who are you? Hi, this is my colleague, and I'm the newest employee here. It's nice meeting some friendly faces. And who would you two be? Avoid the question, introduce yourself. Introduce ourselves. I'm... The name's Clayton Cox. Don't wear it out. Well, it's great to meet you two. If I can ask, what brought you both here? Exploring, looking for help, looking for an exit. Yeah, three. Oh, you too! Maybe we could be of help to each other and exchange information. You see, we've been looking for an exit too. Huh? Maybe we can hop on with you guys. And make things so much easier, right? Come on, what do you say? Yes, no. I know that yes is a death trap, so I'm gonna do it. Well, isn't that great? Um, you wouldn't happen to know the weight limit for these things, right? No, I don't think so. Good, just making sure. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. What was I expecting? It was a death trap. Bat and eight. Stranger ditch. <laughs> oh man, I kind of knew that was going to happen. I know every office related problem. Yeah, yeah, I get the gimmick. No, seriously, I think I'm dying. Really? How long have you been working here? People don't usually start saying that until at least a few months in. He's not even going to question the fact that I just, re I just got exactly what he said. Okay, was eight to one of the doppelgangers? I forgot. If it is, we are not going... Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? I just want to check. Do you remember anything strange at all? Uh, no, not that I can recall. What do you ask? It's just... Am I? Make sure to stay safe is all. Ah, Yeah, yeah. You know, the trick to negotiations is to crack the weaker one first. When you get desperate enough, then you throw him a bone by acting like you want to stand them. And you'll hook him up for sure. You sure you don't remember anything? Remember what? Never mind. Okay, I'll crack the weaker one first. Who are you? It's my colleague, and I'm the newest employee here. It's nice to meet some friendly faces. And who would you two be? Avoid the question, introduce yourself. Avoid the question. What do you want to know? Why wouldn't I? It's not every day you get to meet someone like you. What brings you two here? Are you lost? Yes, no, no. No, I think we can find a way out just fine. How about you? Yeah, well, we, uh. Who the hell are you? Are you okay? Who the hell are you? I already told you I'm the newest employee here. And I don't believe that. Who the hell are you? Were you all right? Get to freaking obvious over here. Can't you see how moronic of a question that is? I think we should go. No! No, 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 no. No, you aren't allowed to just leave. You aren't allowed to just go whenever you want. You haven't earned that. Oh. Oh, I die again. I die again. I need to break the young one. Okay, so I'm just gonna straight up ask if he's okay. Are you okay? 
No, we just don't ask us that. Don't pretend like you're gonna be nice. That's not what we did when... When... Wait, what happened? Sorry, but... Can't be sorry for this. What? What? But dude! You said don't break the weaker one! Clearly I'm the weaker one! Okay, what if I break the... Like, the other dude? Can I just speak to just him? Uh, uh, yeah, just go right ahead. Where is this? How'd you get here? When did you get here? Uh, when did you get here? We... I... Well, who can say, really? It's been months! <laughs> the doors haven't budged. The wall's gone forever. There's no wall out besides the door. We haven't opened since we got here. What? Shut it. You have to let us take your place. Please, we have to get out of here. Leave them be. Push them further. I'm gonna push them further. How long have you been stuck here? I... How long? This wristwatch's battery ran out months ago. We don't know. Is that all you have with you? Just added some scissors that we left in here. We've got nothing. Nobody came to let us out. If you hand over the scissors and promise not to attack us, you can take our place. Thank you. Thank you so much. You received scissors. Sorry. What? You press the close button before they have the chance to come inside. No, no, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'm trying the best to force open the door from the other side of the elevator. Well, wow. Huh? Nothing, I just didn't know you had that in you. That was cold-blooded. If we're gonna replace this otherwise, you wouldn't get it. Nah, I think I do. What? I mean, you didn't just brute force it or play dumb. You really pushed him to his limit. Got him to open up before taking what you needed. You'd make a great employee here, is all I'm saying. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Ah, I get it. <laughs> What? You think I'm part of this somehow, too? Don't you trust me? Uh... No. See? You got nothing to worry about. You're with the same me as always. He's not real. I mean, what kind of employee would I be if I could be replaced that easily? He's not real. He was never real. He was never here to help. Oh, no. Oh, no! That's another bat. Oh no! Ah! Ending 12, real. Alright, so wait, hang on. What do I have in my inventory? I got burnt cigarettes and scissors. So let's go see what's set number 9. This button doesn't seem to work. Uh, was it 7 that had the meat locker? I completely forgot. It probably is. Ah, yes, it is. An animal carcass that looks identical to the body next to it. There are cotton lines drawn around it. Can I open the carcass? Uh, yes. You cut through the carcass by following through the dotted line. You found a bag full of boring organs, all squeezed in together inside the carcass. Oh! Oh no! Seems like the floor was waiting to replace it with fresh meat. Oh no. Oh. I guess I picked the wrong one. Let's try the other carcass. It somehow smells worse than before in here. Okay. An animal carcass that looks identical to the body next to it. There are cutting lines drawn around it. Cut open the carcass. Let's try it again. You cut through the carcass by following the dot line. You found a screwdriver. Place inside the carcass amongst the organs. Take the screwdriver. Yes. Ah, uh, definitely. Push your hand through the insides of the carcass. It makes a disgusting squelching sound as warm blood soaks the end of your suit. You took the screwdriver. All right, let's get the heck out of here. It's okay, that's dealt with. The button didn't seem to work. Uh, okay, so I know I'm supposed to give something organic, but I'm not sure. You can feel a warm breeze under your face. It's coming from the front. Step in. No, uh, no, 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 no. But you know what? Okay, this is floor three, by the way. I know that that's gonna lead to death. But, I'm still gonna do it. Yeah. Just gonna walk right in. Yep, it was a mouth. <laughs> oh no. And 3A, dark. It was definitely dark. What the heck? What's well, on floor number four? Let's go up there and see what's up. <sighs> huh? It's not opening. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. For all we know, the answer's probably right beneath 
behind our noses. You mean under? That's what I said. Oh, wait. I just realized I could actually look around. What? That was an option this whole time. Okay, so if I could look around this whole time, I just gotta like get to this floor. All right. What the heck? There's a door behind us. Ah. Whoa, something up. You got all stiff and weird looking. Nothing, it's just, was that door always there? Not that I can remember, no. Right, must be getting deja vu, sorry. What's so familiar about it? Reminds me of my old place. The floor could, would creak loudly. I could barely get any sleep. I hid everything I owned. The floor would creak loudly. Yeah, probably a hit playing tricks on you. Try not to get too distracted by any of that. Right, thanks. Okay. Oh no, the floors creak wherever I go. I need to make this quick. Some bits I drawers. Open them. Uh, yeah. You open the drawers. Nothing. You can hear a voice coming from downstairs. Sweetie, is that you? Are you awake? Oh no. A neatly made bed. Look underneath the sheets. Yeah. You look underneath the sheets. Nothing. What are you doing up there? You're supposed to be asleep. Jesus Christ. Bright lights keep the monsters away. Ah, don't let them hear you. A window shut and tight. Try to open it? No, maybe not. A mirror hanging above the bed. Flip it to look at the back? Yeah. Uh, sure. You flip the mirror. Nothing but you. You better be sleeping when I get there. Wait. What if I look down? Oh, ah, this is not going to do anything for me. Okay. A window shut and tight. Try to open it? Yeah. You try to open a window, but it doesn't budge. Oh no! What is that? Ending four. Parents. That did not look like my parents! Wait, that's a false door. Part of wall soon. Cut wallpaper open with scissors? Uh, yeah. What the frick? The entire elevator wall seems to be made out of pulsating ma masses of flesh. There's an old computer screen that's squeezed in amongst the lump. Something must be inserted for it to be booted up. Oh, okay. A vent is screwed in tight. Wait, you can hear something scratching from the outside. Unscrew the vent with a screwdriver? Yeah, why not? Jesus. I wonder what's on the other side of that screwdriver. I mean, the, the vent. I'm using a screwdriver. All right. You pulled open the vent shaft. There's a rat sculling about in the vent. It squeaks at you when you- oh, What is that? How's that getting your close event, close event? Take rat. Yes, I need the rat. You got a rat. You're touching it! Where are you holding it? Put that back! What's wrong with it? What's wrong with you? Yeah, I guess what's wrong with it? It's gross! It's a wild animal! It's gonna bite you! It's gonna bite me! Security! Yeah! You're doing that on purpose! Uh, well... Indeed I am, so what are you gonna do about it, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's see, uh, huh. Well, it's nothing to say about the wall in the back, so... Yeah, let's not deal with that. So this... Huh. Danger moving sauce... Thing, loud noises... Please wait here. Avoid sharp objects and a thing. Uh, okay. Huh. I'm not sure what that's about. Does it change every floor I go to? I'm not sure. Well, let's just go here, I guess. Because I know I'm supposed to, like, yeet the rat in there. A hole in the wall. Put the rat in. Yeah, sure. The rat starts trembling. It squirms as it desperately tries to escape your grip. Force the rat in. Yeah. You put your hand in the hole and let the rat go. Yeah? You can hear a low whisper coming from the hole. Raise. Raise what? Third floor? Maybe? I don't know. What are you raising? Are you raising me? I didn't even get a chance to see what was inside or what killed me for that matter. Yeah. You can feel a warm breeze on your face. It's coming from the front. Step in. No! That is just death. That is death. Okay. I, I don't know what what it means by raise. Um, okay. 
Maybe I'm supposed to raise the window? Uh, that, that's what I'm guessing. Okay. Let's look down. Ugh. You got anything to say about this? Wait here. Warning loud noises. Uh, avoid sharp objects. Moving sauce. No smoking sign. Make any progress? Your co-worker is taking out a cigarette. I don't think you're allowed to be smoking that in here. So he's who? Nobody important. Never mind. Why didn't you say you had a lighter? Can I have a light? I guess, why didn't you say you had a lighter? Why didn't you say you had a lighter? Never asked for one. Well then, can I have that one? Are you kidding? This is Sun Hill Signature Brass Playing Lighter. I'm not gonna let anyone play with it. Seems a bit much for a cigar lighter. <sighs> what else would you use it for? Well, there are a lot of things you could possibly use that for. Okay, this time I'm gonna try asking him for the lighter. Here, turns out I had one too. Now can I can have a light? Sure thing. Just be careful of it. You received the lighter. Oh, this is gonna be handy. Okay, now I know what I need to do. So, now we're going back down to three, I think. I think three was the giant freaking mouth. I'm 100% sure it's mouth. Okay, inventory. Uh, okay, maybe not. You can feel a warm breeze on your face coming from then. Light up? Yeah. Uh, sure. Just light it up. That's a mouth. You notice something shiny stuck in between the teeth. Pull it out. Uh, yeah, sure. You took a step closer so you can- Oh! Oh, I'm eating. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, one. Force open the door. Two. Empty pockets. Three. Stop talking. I guess I'll try force open the door. Could you help me force it open? With you, we might be strong enough. You're really too weak? Not strong enough? Need a big man's help, huh? You could just say, Well, what if I'm not helpful? Step aside. Let me try. Your co-worker pulls at the door. The door doesn't seem to be budging. He might be crying. Do you any? Sorry, pal. This thing's way too strong for anyone to get open. It's impossible. Guess someone will have to find a different way out. It's fine. Thanks for trying. Kinda. Alright. Uh... What, wait, what do you mean empty pockets? I'm not gonna do that. Uh, can you stop talking? Why would anyone want me to do that? Forget it. Ugh, I guess it's gonna be handy. You're currently on... Well, yeah, there's no floor here. Yeah, might as well try to fill out the questionnaire. Question one. What is the strongest attribute of a great employee? Choose from the following answers. Ambition, morality, functional left kidney, reliability. I guess it'll be four for this. You chose answer D. Question two, what is the second stage of grief? All right, uh, the answer for this should be anger. So, anger. You chose answer A. Question three, how long do spent nuclear fuel remain radioactive? Okay, so I honestly don't know what's the answer to this because uh, it really depends on what kind of radioactive material. I'm guessing it's number three. You chose answer C. Okay, question number four. Choose from the following answers. Uh, A, wait, what? 14-1, B-2-3, C-2-1, D-4610, E-1028. The hell does this mean? Okay, I chose answer A. You put a finished form back in the drawers. What? You hear something rattling inside. When you open it, you get to check. You notice... Reject it! Paper tore itself in half. Uh, oh god damn it okay we're going back uh apparently uh the answer for this is c a c oh wait hold up <laughs> wrong floor wrong floor we're, we're going up to the office we're going back up to the office because i do want to get cake i uh, want to get myself some cake all right would it be shallow to look for a cheat sheet of some kind i did look up a cheat sheet <laughs> i am so sorry uh, yes. Uh, let's just do it. Okay, you found a job application questionnaire. Fill out the questionnaire. Yes. Okay, strongest attribute of a great employee. Choose from the following answers. The answer to this is functional left kidney. Okay. What is the second stage of grief? The answer to this one is anger. Choose answer A. How long does spent nuclear fuel remain radioactive? Uh... I got this one right earlier. 
Uh, it is C, 10,000 years. Uh, question number four. Choose from the following answers. I... Okay, and this one is apparently E, which is 1028. I don't get it. You chose answer E. You put the finished form back in the drawer. Okay. Well, you hear something rattling inside. When you open it again to check, you notice the form has been replaced with something else. Huh. You received a crumpled note. Nine... Is that 922, 923? Or is that 422, 923? Apparently, this says 921, 923. So, we're gonna try... 921, 923. All right. Let's use the phone. Dial a number. Yes. Uh, not... Oh, God. 921... Nine, two, three. Click. You deserve a tree. I'll deliver it to you next time. I'll call. Make sure you come pick it up. T okay. Where do I pick that up from? Uh. Well. I guess uh, we'll go back to the room then, because apparently I'm supposed to go over there. All right. Um. Let's go back to my childhood home. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, the floor creaks wherever I go. Need to make this quick. All right. Some bedside drawers. Open them. Yeah. You open the drawers. Nothing. You can hear a voice coming from downstairs. Sweetie, is that you? Are you awake? A box here under the bed. Open it. Yeah. You open the box. Nothing but useless drawing. What are you doing up there? You're supposed to be asleep. Oh, God. Where's the last thing? Don't let them hear you. A neatly made bed. Look under the sheets. Yeah. You look under the sheets. You found a sleeping pill. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Okay, you can only check the room three times before, like, whatever it is comes out and kills you. Okay, so I think I need to die at this round, uh, just so I can get the cake, uh, like, on my next playthrough, because I need to, like, I need to combine both the cake and the sleeping pill and I also need to get all the death endings. So, hey, uh, looks like where you feel like you'll just melt by looking at the pool. Your nose starts bleeding. The back of your throat tastes like tinfoil. I, I'm not feeling good. I think we should. Ending five, radiation. Well, that was fun. <laughs> all right, uh, let's, let's go grab a cake, I guess. Because I'm going to need that. You hear a phone ringing from a distance. Well, I think we're supposed to go up to... Was it floor number five? No, floor number six. Floor number six was the one with the office, I think. Wasn't it? Yeah, it is. <gasps> cake! I have cake! Sweet looking cake. Take it. Yes! You took the cake! You could probably hide the sleeping pill in the cake. You combined the two. You now have drug cake. Sweet! All right. Now I can go into the mouth and like shove the cake in there, like drugged cake in there. Yeah, I think I would have preferred not being able to see anything. Yeah, that's true. But hey, whatever. You can feel a warm breeze in face. It's coming from the front. Light it up. Yeah, why not? We, we both know what this is. Okay, a giant mouth. Beat it, drug cake. Uh, yes. You throw out the drug cake in. Okay. Is it gonna munch? You hear a large snore roaring from inside the throat. The floor is now asleep. It should be safe to look around now. You notice something shiny stuck between the teeth. Pull it out. Yes. You found a CD. Perfect. Now we can use the computer. All right. Let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Okay. Magic computer. The entire elevator wall seems to be made out of pulsating mashes of flash. There's an old computer screen squeezed in amongst the lump. Insert CD. Yeah. You booted up the computer. Okay. Input a five-digit passcode to gain access. All capital. Okay, it should be R. Yes, R. A. I. S. E. Wait, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. You now have access to floor nine. Sweet! Floor nine! All right. Now we can get out of here. Kinda. Well, as far out of here as we can. 
Let's go to floor nine. Okay, where are we? Oh, hi there. Oh good, you made it. I was worried you'd gotten lost. Please, take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Take a seat. I think I'm fine over here. Uh, let's take a seat. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Uh, ending nine. Fall. Oh, no. Uh, all right. Okay, let's go back to floor nine. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, floor number nine it is. Number nine. Thank you. Ah. Uh. All right. In hindsight, that was the only way that was gonna go. Oh, good, you made it. I was worried you gotten lost. Please take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, I think I'm fine over here, honestly. Of course, wherever you feel best. It's nice to finally get to meet you. You're here for your first day, right? How are you? I'm doing fine. I feel like poo. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Glad to hear it. Did you find your way all right? Any hiccups? Oh, was hell. Had no trouble. Your elevator's broken? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'd say, uh, yeah, I I guess I didn't have any trouble with this. Thank heavens for that. Uh, I've heard some of the employees get lost easily. I'm glad you're competent, at least, to have gotten here on time. Okay, right, right. I see you had a senior to help you with any questions you had. How was your time spent with your colleague? Yeah, he was unhelpful, but better than being alone. <laughs> he was helpful and great to have around. He was a good resource. He was totally useless. <laughs> yeah, he was a good resource. Also, like, um, just giving you guys a heads up. Yes, I am looking at a guide for this because I, <laughs> I don't really want to mess this up that badly. And I do want to get like all 14, 15 endings in this. I guess what I'm doing here is showing you guys what's all the correct answers. All right, that's good. It's always nice when tools you have work how they're supposed to. What? What? Speak of how easily you fare getting here. Are your lungs working all right? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> I know what the answer says, what the frick, but yeah, they're doing right. Great. Sorry about asking. I just hadn't seen it on your resume. It must not have crossed my mind. What is your greatest fear? Uh, failing this interview, having a job, being replaced for heights. I'm gonna go with heights. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear that. Could you step a bit closer? Oh, frick, I can't even see the horizon. I'm getting vertigo. Heights? Ah, got it. Well, I don't think you'll have much to worry about. We'll make sure to keep you in lower management then. Works for me. How did you hear about this position? Oh, gosh. Well, I heard about it through the paper. And what about it drew you to it? What made you want this job? Being, uh, part of something bigger than myself, able to make a living wage, seen as capable, I don't know. Nah, I like the idea of being something bigger than myself. Also, um, to feel important, to not be alone, I guess it's to feel important. Right, as a company, I'm sure you'll all get the thrill out of battering a larger unit as a current employee here. Thrill's one word for it. What would you consider your weakness weaknesses? My personality, indecisiveness, point and click escape rooms? <laughs> oh my god, indecisiveness. That's nothing to worry about. Our policies here are pretty forgiving if you end up saying the wrong thing. Or have a hard time making a decision. Consequences to previous mistakes are always something that you can learn from. Just remember, you'll always have the chance to make a different choice. If you have more questions, we can loop back around to a topic later. That's fine. I think I'm getting the point. Last but not least, why should we hire you? I'm irreplaceable. I'm a problem solver. Functional left kidney. <laughs> Functional left kidney is apparently the right answer for this. So, yeah. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Did you have any questions on your end? Well, thank you again for making it. I've got another meeting soon, so we'll have to discuss further inquiries later. Oh, but one more thing. He reaches to shake your hand. Yeah? Welcome aboard the team. <gasps> a key. I received a key. Consider this as a welcome gift. Hopefully we'll talk again soon. I paused the interview. I, I, I don't believe it.
Neat! Alright, it's my stop. Huh? What? Did you forget that easily? I got a meeting on the top floor. That's where I get off. Yeah, right. Wait, I almost forgot. I, um, I need to give you your lighter back. Huh? Ah, don't worry about it. You can give it back when we go for a break, yeah? Yeah. I'll see you then. The co-worker stepped off the elevator. In the blink of an eye, he's gone. You can't see him anymore. Well, you're alone on the elevator now. Okay. A keyhole with the word lobby written above it. Put the key in. Oh yeah, sure. You use the key. You now have access to the first floor. Let's go, I guess. We're we're gonna freaking go. Alright. You hurriedly get off the elevator. Oh, it's a normal office. As normal as I can get, I guess. Oh my god. He got out of there. He's so happy. Hey, which where are you going? What's the hurry? What are you leaving? But you just got here. You passed your interview. What reason do you have to be upset? You did what you came here to do. Didn't you do good enough? Why would you want to just leave after all that? What did you expect? You realize how many people will kill to be in your position? You haven't even worked one day and you're already throwing it away. You're gonna quit that easily? You barely even done anything. How do you expect to live in your own out there if you can't even do this simple task? Why are you giving up all the work you've done to get here? Don't you need this job? He's freaking out. <laughs> you need this job. You need this job. You need this job. Oh my god. I... I need this job. Oh my god. Please watch where you're going in the future. Man! That was freaky. <laughs> Ending one. Escape. Well, uh, that was Elevator Hitch. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And if you guys want to play this game for yourself, link to the game will be in the description below. Um, alongside with the walkthrough link as well. I know what's listed on the game page, but I figured like, hey, if you guys, uh, if you guys, I don't know, didn't want to watch through this video for some reason, uh, even though we're already at the very end. Uh, I figured, hey, uh, it'll be useful for those who, you know, uh, didn't watch you the video. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for coming. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lionel, signing off. Ciao.